Today we're gonna to be looking at why you should be checking every single penny that you have because some things can give old wheat pennies and even more modern pennies a lot of value. So let's just hop right into it. All right, so we're gonna be looking at the 1956 wheat penny. Now we're gonna show you some things that you cannot see, you know, just in your hand with the naked eye and then some obvious types of mint errors that you can uh, obviously see here on this first penny. So this is what is called a straight clip. Obviously this kind of speaks for itself. You'll see that there at the top of the penny. This coin ended up selling for $63 at auction. I'm not really into these types of mint errors, uh, but let's move on to some other ones. Now here's a, another clip, however it's much different. It's a double curved clip and you'll see that pretty obvious there in the images displayed. Now this coin ended up selling for $150 graded by NGC, first coin graded by Annex. Now this next coin is something that you really want to look for and inspect your coins very, very closely. So this is a 1956 D mint mark. This coin sold on eBay by the way, and it has a repunched D mint mark. So we're going to look at some examples of what that is. Here is this coin uh, specifically. You can see that D mint mark repunched, but we'll look at more clear images here as we go. This coin ended up selling for over $1,000 on eBay. Now keep in mind the coin grade, which is the condition of the coin, also can affect the value. It does affect the value tremendously. So um, keep that in mind if you do come across one. Now here is a lot before we look at these up close of what exactly to look for, here is a lot of pennies that sold on eBay that have that repunched D mint mark. Now these are not in the best condition, right? They're not a high mint state grade like the last coin that we looked at that sold for over $1,000. These are in much worse condition and they all sold together for $252 on eBay. Now it does depend on which repunch mint mark you have because there are a lot of different examples, especially for the year 1956. Here's a good example of one very obvious type of repunched D mint mark. You can look for that with your coin microscopes. I have a link to that in the comments below. And this is uh, the same one, just on a much better uh, conditioned penny you'll see that repunched D mint mark. And this one here is actually really interesting. So you'll see the D mint mark completely below uh, where the D mint mark is on this penny. So that is an interesting one to look for. On this example, you can see the line from the top of the D there above the D mint mark. So that is another one to look for. Here is another repunched D mint mark on the 1956 penny. Again, I told you there are a lot of different examples of this. And then here is one last repunched mint mark on the 1956 wheat cent. So look for that on your wheat pennies. On your 1956, you can look for this on other dated coins as well. If you haven't seen my other penny videos, we show you different repunched mint marks to look for on different years. So just type in couch collectibles 1955 penny and we'll tell you all about the 1955 penny. Now this next penny here is a very rare mint error. Um, you know, had it been in much better condition, of course, it would have sold for more money, but even in this condition, this penny sold for over $200 because the coin has been double struck. So as we zoom in on the coin, you can actually see the date twice there. And that's something that can easily be passed up if you're not really inspecting your coins closely. Here on the reverse of the penny, you can see that double strike as well uh, with the reverse design. So the E and one there is very visible. So always pay attention to those over a $200 penny. Had it been in much better condition or a higher coin grade, it would have sold for a lot more money. So pennies are either going to grade at a red, red, brown, or brown. So red is always the best. This penny here is obviously a brown. So keep that in mind. Now here's a 1956. Unfortunately, this coin has been cleaned, but it was struck onto a very defective planchet. Um, as you can see here in the image displayed, the coin sold for $180 at auction. Moving along to a 1956 that sold for $24. Now it has a small little die break, and that's the only reason why this coin sold for $24. You can see that extra metal there on the rim of the coin. Very, very small die break, but you can look for these on all kinds of different coins. Um, some are much larger than this, can take up a large portion of the coin. This is a very tiny one. Um, so always be on the lookout for die breaks, also referred to as cuds, $24 penny there. 
Now here is a good example of that. So this coin here sold for $45, has a much larger die break there on the right side of the Lincoln cent. Um, so always look for those. You can look for those on pennies, nickels, quarters, dimes, and so on. Here is a 1956 Lincoln cent. Looks very normal, Lincoln wheat cent. Uh, it looks very normal here on the reverse of the coin, but here on the obverse, you could see that it looks distorted a little bit, and that's because the obverse was struck through a capped die. So the die is what has the design and comes down and strikes the planchet in order to create the coin. This was struck through a capped die. All right, so this coin sold for $144. Moving on to a coin that has a couple different errors. Of course, you can see the triple clip. Uh, you see three different clips here, two at the bottom, one at the top right, very obvious. And then this coin has also been broad struck as well, which you'll see around the rim of the coin. So this penny ended up selling for $65 in this condition. So not too bad for that penny there, $65 penny. Moving on to a lamination error, which you can see here on the obverse of the coin going through the word Liberty. Now, this is a 1956 penny that's graded at a mint state 63 brown. So if it was a red brown or red, it would have sold for a little more. Not the best condition, but not the worst by any means. The coin ended up selling for $156. All right, moving on to another 1956 penny. Now, this is also an RPM that we looked at with the D mint mark, the repunch D mint mark. Now, this coin sold with a lot of other coins for $79, so maybe $25 coin or so in this condition. You know, you've seen the other one that sold for over a thousand, uh, and that's because it was at a very high grade as compared to this coin and it was graded at a red not a brown so let's move on to a very obvious type of mint error pretty much everyone knows about the off center error right so you can look for that on all kinds of different coins this is 30 percent off center some coins are only struck five percent off center some can be 80 percent off center um, they all range in different values for this specific coin. Uh, it sold for $53. So it really depends on the date of the coin, how off center the coin is, the demand at the time in which you sell the coin, and all those good things. Um, so this coin has been cleaned, which takes away a lot of value from the penny. So do not clean your coins. Let's move on to another off center. This coin sold for $69, struck 60% off center. It has not been cleaned. So around a $70 penny there, graded by Annex. Moving on to a super valuable coin here. This penny sold for $2,280. Over a $2,000 coin here because it's a penny, Lincoln penny design or Lincoln wheat cent design that was struck onto a silver Roosevelt dime planchet. So in 1956, of course, they were making uh, Roosevelt dimes in 90% silver. So this is a silver planchet that they would have used for the dime. However, a Lincoln cent design was struck onto it and that's what makes it super valuable. That's why the coin sold for over $2,000. Now here is a similar type of mint error, but it's actually much different. All right, so this is where a penny design was actually struck on two, a silver dime. So the last coin was where it was a blank silver dime planchet. Now in this case, this is a much more valuable coin. The coin sold for over $6,600, nearly a $7,000 coin here because we have both designs of the Roosevelt dime along with the wheat penny uh, design. So keep that in mind. The dime design had already been struck onto the dime planchet, so it was a dime coin, and then the Lincoln cent design was struck onto it. And it's also been struck through uh, scrap on the obverse of the coin as well. Um, so, man, pretty awesome mint error there, nearly a $7,000 coin. Let's move on to a 1956 Lincoln cent that many people may think that it's just a damaged coin, it's been cut off or something, but that's not the case. We actually have a 1956 wheat penny design that was struck onto a Honduras one cent planchet. So the whole design does not fit onto this Honduras coin planchet, and that's why the coin sold for over $2,000 at auction, graded by NGC. This next coin, 1956 penny, has been struck onto a split planchet before the strike. So I think this error kind of speaks for itself. Uh, it's not a super valuable coin, but the penny did sell for $36. 
So always inspect your coins very closely. You never know what you can find out there, especially if you buy coin collections, inherit a coin collection, or go to the bank and search coin rolls. You always want to inspect your coins very, very closely. Get that coin microscope below in the comments of this video. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the rest of the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.